welcome to my Learn Footbag tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn some basic footbag delays that you might combine with other kicks you learned from my previous video. Some of the movements will be very similar, so go and watch and learn from my basic footbag kicks video if you haven't already. The toe delay begins with the bag falling in front of the body. You should be aiming to catch the bag in the flatter toe area of your foot and have your toes curled up to create a small pocket. The foot you plan to catch the bag with must be raised early so you can cushion the bag down as it gets to your foot. As you cushion the bag, your support leg should also bend in time with this. A good way to think about it is if you're going to catch a bag with your hand, you would start with your hand up high in a cup position, and as the bag gets there, you'll cushion it slowly on the way down. Once you've caught the bag and want to set it up again, bend your knee quickly keeping your toes curled up to send the bag straight up towards the face. The bag should remain close to the body and set high enough to perform another trick afterwards. When learning initially, I recommend setting the bag up to a hand catch so you can draw the same movement multiple times until you get it dialed down. Start by dropping the bag from your hand and raising your catching foot early. Your goal here should be to make the inside surface of your foot as flat as possible. To achieve this, turn your knee out, curl your toes to the bottom of your shoe and tighten the inside of your ankle. Just like the total A, you will cushion the bag as it gets to your foot, at the same time bending your support leg. Bending your support leg will help keep the inside of your foot flatter, even as you lower your catching leg to the ground. Once you've controlled the bag, set it back up quickly just like you would an inside kick, keeping your knee turned out and aiming for the inside of your foot back towards your face. The clipper delay is similar to the inside delay, but you will catch the bag behind your support leg. This time dropping the bag to the side of your body, you will see me take a small step forward to put myself in the correct position, then raising the inside of my catching foot. Just like the inside delay, your catching leg will have its knee turned out, the toes curled to the bottom of your shoe, and your ankle tight to create a flat surface when catching the bag. It's even more important when doing a clipper to bend your support leg for cushioning, and to give more room for the catching leg. Once you've caught the bag, quickly send your catching foot back towards your face to set the bag back up again. In this position it can be quite difficult to get enough height on the bag, so I'll also straighten and push off slightly my support leg to give it more speed. You can see when I'm doing consecutive clippers, I do a small hop back into the next delay for extra cushion and also to help with the timing. I recommend learning to do consecutive clippers on the same side first with both legs before trying to do alternating as getting the timing right can be quite difficult. When learning these movements for the first time it can be a good idea to have your foot up high in the correct start position with the bag very close to your foot. This means the bag will have less speed and easier to get the timing right. It also allows you to develop the correct muscle memory you need to get into the right start position each time quickly. The walkover is a really cool trick to learn from an inside delay and it finishes in a clipper position. Catch the bag with the inside delay, put your foot on the ground walking over it and set back up from the clipper position. Be careful though as it can be quite stressful on your ankles. The pincher is a unique catch, catching the bag behind your knee. A trick that helps is to turn your body away slightly from the bag and turn your catching leg in so the back of your knee turns up. From there, it's all about timing of the pinch and balance. Catching the bag on the underside of your foot. Honestly, this trick is hard and I would only work on it once you've got the basics down. You would turn your body away like you would in the clipper position Push your toe down to the bottom of your shoe, bend your knee, bringing your foot up towards the bag. Just try first keeping balance in this position and even just placing the bag on top of your foot. Now the fun part is connecting the tricks and putting it all together. Usually for most the toe delay is the strongest catch, so we'll use this in between the more difficult delays.
Also remember, you can link together your different kicks to make awesome combinations. Just don't forget to learn both sides. Next video, I'll be covering some slightly harder tricks that you can learn developing from the delays that you've learnt in this video. Mm.